What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so... Yeah. We struggled. We struggled a lot with Giratina, and... Quite frankly, I, I... I am sick and tired of it. I hate legendary Pokemon with a passion. I probably should have just let it fade and just deal with, dealt with it later on. But that's not me. Anywho, in this episode, we're going to be going to Sunny Shore. But, there is a big but. Um, apparently, we need to go to Professor Rowan. Apparently, he's worried about us. So, we're going to fly over there. See see what the old man has to say about us. Uh, let's see. Where are you? Ah, there you are. So, here's Professor Rowan. He's like, Draven, you've come back. You, you leave me speechless. You've done it. You've really done it. Never has my heart pounded this hard for so long in 60 years of living. The professor did a lot of checking up uh, after you left. He was really worried about you, Draven. He contacted acquaintance, acquaintances looking for help, and uh, Draven, I'm glad to see you safe. Welcome back. Oh yes, there is something I had to tell you. The three Pokemon of the lakes had uh, appeared to have returned to their homes. So tell me, how are things going for you? The Pokedex? Hmm. A total of 170 Pokemon. And the number of badges? Well, you've got seven already. That only leaves the Sunny Shore Gym. Hmm. You had to come this far, why not obtain the Sunny Shore a badge? And why not challenge the Pokemon League? That will broaden your horizons further than ever before. Not to mention the opportunities to meet even more Pokemon. That is true. That is so goddamn true. So, uh, yeah. About that. Now that the legendary Pokemon are back into... Well, they're, they're, they're back into, uh, you know, their homes and all that stuff. Uh, we should probably take a look at them. You know, not try and capture them or anything like that. Just uh, try and uh, find them and put them in our Pokedex because, well, shoot. Yeah, we, we, we kind of need their, their, their data and all that stuff. So here we are in Lake Variety. And we're going to be zooming on way right here. And, uh, well, let's see what we got. Alrighty. So, as you guys can see, this is Lake Variety, and here's one of the legendary Pokemon that we've uh, encountered over in the Distortion World. Now, just in case this isn't an encounter, there it is, and Kyom. So, our good old Pokemon has disappeared, and Professor Rowan is like, dot dot dot, Draven, that was Mesprit, wasn't it? You've accomplished what I uh, asked you to do at the Candlelave Library. I asked you to get the data on the Pokemon of the lake, and you did! But it didn't provide any answers about mysteries of evolution. I still don't know why some Pokemon evolve and others don't. Ultimately, it only deepened the mystery. But having mysteries to solve, that's, uh, that adds to my enjoyment. Draven, why don't you chase after Misprit? To me, it seems as if I wanted to play with you. If you were to use the Poketech app marking app, you'd, you'd be able to track its movements of the Pokemon. Go on, Draven. I'm sure you will be keeping. Uh, you'll keep meeting countless of Pokemon and people. Those encounters will keep thrilling you in their own special ways. I hope you'll enjoy the experience. Take care, Draven. Okay. So he is not kidding, guys. So we're gonna step outside right here, and the marking app. Now, if that serves me correctly, if memory serves me correctly, it's gonna be right here. We already got it, right? Nope. That's the watch. That's the flip the coin. That is the communication. And I think that's the marking one? Huh, could be wrong. No, that's the berries one. So, it looks like to me... It's this one right here, okay? So, keep an eye out for that map. Because eventually... There it is. Okay, so eventually, Mesprit will become a roaming Pokemon, as you guys can see right here. It's moving around everywhere. And where the heck are we? Okay, I'm gonna put on a repel because I really don't want to get attacked by any of these Pokemon. Uh, right here. Okay, and it looks like we're in a secret location right here. And here we found ourselves the TM38 Fire Blast. Nice. So, as you guys can see, you can actually locate Mesprit right on the Poketech app. And it is easy to encounter. So what we're gonna be doing now, guys, is we're gonna be going uh, from place to place to look for these Pokemon. We're not going to capture him just yet, because, yeah, Draven's had enough of capturing legendary Pokemon for some time now. So, we're going to be speeding it through, and not worrying about a single thing, including these Pokemon attacking us and all that stuff, and 
Seriously, you need to get out of the way, homeboy. So let's go with a super repel. And, well, let's see. What, what else can we find? As you guys can see in the map, Manspray is making his way elsewhere. And here we are in the Lake Valor. And all we got to do now is go in to this place. And as you guys can see, Lake Valor has apparently recovered. So let's go right ahead and get on Poseidon right here. And search for secret places first. Um, I definitely don't want to get attacked by another Pokemon, so let's go right ahead and use a Max Repel instead. Let's see, there you go. We bought plenty of those Max Repels. And here we have a secret location right here. Wonder what, wonder what you could actually find. As you guys can see, here we found ourselves the TM25 Thunder. I can only imagine that the other place is going to be the... What was it? The... What was it called? Uh, Blizzard Technique. So, let's go right in here. And we're going to go to Lake Valor's Cavern Front. And there is the other legendary Pokemon. Uh-oh. Ew. Yeah, I didn't even know about this, guys. Damn. Okay, so it looks like we have to capture Azulf. And, uh, well, here goes a Thunderfang. Let's try and paralyze this Pokemon. There we go. Shockwave. And, well, this Pokemon is using Uproar, so... Five minutes later... Oh, yes! Oh, my God. Okay, so that was easy. <laughs> okay, so this episode has turned into trying to capture some legendary Pokemon. And as you guys can see, here we have Azulf, the willpower Pokemon. It is psychic, and uh, when Azulf flew, people gained the determination to do things... It was the birth of willpower. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so, uh... It can't happen again. I don't know. I don't think it's gonna happen again. But we're gonna have to go through to the other lake right here. I seriously thought this Pokemon was gonna be a roaming Pokemon, guys. I literally thought that. Okay, so we're gonna be going to Snow Point City. So I'm gonna fast forward getting over there. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are in Snowpoint City, and uh, the next person on our list happens to be Uxie. And uh, from what it looks like, it, yeah, we 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 we're this is not gonna be a roaming Pokemon at all. The only roaming Pokemon out of the three is Azul. So let's go right ahead and get through this whole thing. And yes, this is the location where we uh, God dang it, this is the location where we actually found what's his face uh, Barry get his butt kicked. Thank you very much. And, uh, well, let's see. Just to make things fair, we gotta use another Max Repel. And let's move on right here. So as you guys can see, you can actually find a secret location into every single one of these lakes. And they will have a very powerful move. And, wow, here we have a Sneasel. A level 41 Sneasel, so just be aware of that. God dang it. Leave me alone, damn it. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and grab this. Here we found ourselves a TM14, which is Blizzard. A very, very good move. And of course, yeah, we need to get the heck out of here because this is ridiculous. Okay, so let's go right ahead and switch out to Toothless because we do not want to mess with any of these Pokemon. And this spot right here doesn't have anything. So let's go right ahead and let's go. Okay, so... Let's move on ahead, find a secret place here and there, and that was the exit. Okay, so let's go back right here again, and there we go. Okay, so let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon, because, well, these Pokemon right here wouldn't leave, leave me alone. So let's go with a Hyper Potion. Same strategy as last time. I'm not expecting to get one, one, uh, catch, cave, one catch right here, so... And let's go right ahead and save this game because, well, I do have a feeling I'm going to screw this up, as always. And there we go. Okay, so here it is. We are in the Acuity Lake, I think. And here is the last of the three legendary Pokemon, Ooxie. And this guy is going to go with a, you know, it's going to be all yellow and ready to go at level 50. So... We're going to do the same thing. We're going to try and paralyze this guy and try and uh, take it down. So here we go. Swift attack. There we go. Come on. Paralyze it. Damn it. Okay. So, yeah, it's not letting us win right here. 
and Future Sight is ready to go. And we need to switch out our Pokemon right here because that Future Sight is going to hit us. And let's see, come on, Ultra Ball, damn it, okay. Ultra Ball, damn you, Ultra Ball, damn you. And there's a Yawn attack, John and John. And let's go to Rosemond, Future Sight again. And we got to switch out our Pokemon before it falls asleep. So let's go with Guy of the Fierce Knight. And there we go. Still asleep. Come on. Damn you. Okay. Quick ball. Damn it. Okay, so yeah, that amnesia attack's gonna be doing something right here. Approximately ten hours later. There we go, we caught it. Okay. Whew. Alrighty. So Ooxie is now with us. Thank you very much. And as you guys can see, Uxie is the knowledge Pokemon. <laughs> oh my god. I seriously thought I had to heal it. Like, I had to waste up a, a time or had to waste up a, an, extra, an extra turn just to heal up my Pokemon. But god dang. Talk about being lucky. Thank you, Arceus. Anywho, Uxie, the knowledge Pokemon. When Uxie flew, people gained the ability to solve problems. It was the birth of knowledge. Hmm, you don't say. Okay, so there we go. We have caught Uxie. And, uh, well, that leaves one Pokemon, and that happens to be Azulf, I believe. So, what's going to happen is, I really don't want to go for it, but I have to, because, it, you know, it, it, it's going to work. Well, it can only work right here. So, uh, okay, so, roaming Pokemon in here. You're going to be getting quite a few of the, those roaming Pokemon, as you can probably already tell. Uh... Every roaming Pokemon will have a, you know, they will try and escape after one turn. You go to Route 202 in Jubilife City, this is the easiest way to encounter any roaming Pokemon because, you know, the street is right there. And as you guys can tell, bam, Uxie or Azul or whatever his name is, it's just roaming around. Yeah. Come on, get your booty over here. Let's go, we're almost there. We're almost there. Get over here. Come on, you know you want to come over here. God dang Pokemon flying. Okay, so we're gonna move forward, and uh, yeah, we're gonna move forward and try uh, and trying to get this Pokemon to come over here. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, here we go. Hopefully we don't make this guy faint. And there we go. Okay, so now we got to make sure to. Okay, so now it's weakened up, and we have to switch out our Pokemon right here. But I kind of have a feeling that. Rosemond putting it to sleep won't do anything right here. It still will escape. So, if you're doing it like me, guys, where all your Pokemon are under level 50, the best course of action is to make sure to have a lot of max repels and spray yourself on it when when Mesprit is right around you. That way you can easily find it. And, uh, well, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to try and put it to sleep. That way it'll be easier for us to capture. And if something comes up, then I'm gonna have to start using a specific Pokemon for this whole thing. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, here we go. It's already in the red. Grass Whistle. There you go. And it is asleep. Okay, so we have to get another Pokemon for this, so I'll be right back with you guys. Two very boring minutes later. Oh! <laughs> wow! Oh my god! Okay! Alrighty, so we got him. Huh. Alrighty, All right. okay, so that was an interesting episode right there. So here it is, guys, Mesprit, the emotion Pokemon. God damn. God damn, why couldn't Giratina be this, this strong? God, or uh, this easy to capture? I'm a little annoyed. Anywho, so here's Mesprit, the emotion Pokemon. The Mesprit flu, people learned the joy and sadness of living. It was the birth of emotions. Oh, wow. Okay, so, yeah, we're not giving this guy a nickname. And that right there is how we capture all three of these legendary Pokemon. And that was our, yeah, that was our very first, uh, what was it called? Um, that was our very first roaming Pokemon. Now, the initial plan was to use a Ghastly I have on my team with Mean Look. But the only problem is that, well, it's Mesprit's level 50. Ghastly here that I have is uh, not level 50. So... Let's go right ahead and take a look at our three newest Pokemon, the legendary trio of Sinnoh, and, well, let's put them all together right here. 
That way people can see. Holy crud. Okay, so here we go. Azulf. And Oopsie. Alrighty, so here we... Uh, let's, let's go right ahead and take a look at these Pokemon. So here we have Mesprit, the psychic type Pokemon. Quiet Nature. And it does have the Levitate technique. It does have some pretty good moves like Swift, uh, Lucky Chant, Future Sight, and Charm. Azulf has pretty much the same thing except for Nasty Plot and Uproar. And as you guys can see, it has the same thing except for Brave Nature. And Oopsie, a timid nature and all that. And well, as you guys can see, I didn't expect to capture these legendary Pokemon right now, but you know what? That's three down and a boatload to go. So I guess that's our episode for today. Holy buckets. Anywho, in the next episode, guys, we are going to be going to Sunny Shore City, and we're going to be taking on a few trainers here and there, trying to get our Pokemon boosted up and ready to go for the final gym battle. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being supportive. As always, I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. See you guys.